I should get some tea. I find that buildings fall into one of three categories. First, non-accessible buildings, where steps or ledges make the building inaccessible to wheelchairs. Second, partly accessible buildings, where a person in a wheelchair can enter the building, but not without assistance. Third, fully accessible buildings, where disabled individuals are able to enter without assistance. I looked at the store entrances on 5th Street, and this is what I found. Not a lot of grain there. I went to Courtney City Hall to ask questions like, what is the cost of installing an access button? Who incurs the cost, business owners or building owners? And would the revenue of adding an access button be more than the cost of installation? First, I talked to a building inspector who wasn't able to answer my questions and directed me to a city representative. They suggested a building manager who explained my questions were a building code matter which are under the umbrella of the building inspection department. So who is supposed to fix this? Clearly it's my problem, I'm being affected by it, but who makes the changes? If 5th Street is supposed to be the heart of the valley and it's this inaccessible, what does that say about the rest of it?